Shanji Hibero. I know that half of the people in the stadium came to see this very character right here. And he's going up against Alexandre de Sousa, representing Gracie Florinopolis. This should be a great matchup, but uh, I'd have to say the heavy favorite is Shanji. Zanji's coming in. Uh, three-time uh, world champion. He's definitely one of the favorites to win not only his weight but the, the Open. He's ex extremely strong, extremely technical. Uh, his brother Salo is, I believe, a six-time world champion, so runs in the blood. Now we just saw Hickson in the background on the sidelines. Uh, he's a part of that uh, jiu-jitsu university down in San Diego, which uh, Shanji's uh, a part of. And we see a lot of support in the crowds there. This is going to be a great yeah. match, man. This is going to be a great match. All, all of the uh, Gracie Baja guys are, are rooting for Alexandra D'Souza. Uh, I'm sure they all would like to see Sanji fall here. In Jiu-Jitsu, you never know. Uh, Alexandra defeated Tusa, who's a good friend of mine and uh, whoop, an amazing competitor. Very, very technical player, so the, that, uh, that's a testament to his place in the finals here. But uh, this will be very interesting. What a great matchup. Zanji uh, did some work with uh, Flavio Canto, I believe, uh, who is a Brazilian Olympic uh, Olympian in judo and a very high level Olympian in judo. Um, so I, I know he's been working on his, his stand up uh, with the gi quite a bit. Um, he's, he's, he's looked good uh, this past year as well from the feet. Uh, and I, you know, in, in his uh, in his semi final against Tarsus Humphrey, he had a beautiful flying arm lock. That a uh, little bit of controversy there. And I gotta say, I kind of tend to agree on the side of Shanji. That that seemed to me to be a legitimate finish. Yeah, I think it was as well. He locked out the arm, uh, and that goes to show you the athleticism of a big man like Zanji jumping up in the air and hitting uh, flying attacks. And he won the world's black belt 2004, 2006, 2007. In 2005, he moved it up in weight class and he took second. So uh, uh, his history is, uh, if that's anything to go by, this should be a gold medal for Shanji. Yeah, he and Hodger have big rivalries. I'm sure that's why the uh, Grease Ball guys were uh, definitely pulling for uh, Alexander D'Souza. Uh, right now, Sousa's so uh, so got a great cross grip here. The, his foot on the hip. There's no, no, no real dangers. He could drop that. That's exactly what I was going to say. He could drop that right foot in there and, and sweep him. A classic tripod. Yeah. Unfortunately, that, that cross tripod, usually if the guy's explosive, he gets back to his feet. It doesn't quite have the same control as a classic tripod sweep, uh, but scored him an advantage. Now, whenever you hit that uh, cross tripod sweep, do you want to elevate the ankle in the air to possibly secure the sweep? Yeah. If you can maintain a grip on the ankle, too, as well, when you're coming up and lift that foot up, then you, it, you, can, you can pin the guy on his back. That's a upside down arm lock. That's a great attack on an upside down arm lock. He goes in, belly down. Uh, Sandra's got his arm bent right now. But that is a nice attack. Beautiful. And uh, there was smoke signals. He said smoke signals saying that was coming. <laughs> yeah, it did. One grip shy. If he breaks that grip off that knee, the arm could go straight. It's one grip away. There it goes straight. But Zandra Fugis was in a very dangerous position. Very dangerous position. That was, that was, uh, D'Souza is already up by two advantages. Woo! Looking good. <laughs> I, gotta, I never expected this going into this match. Me too. He's taking it too. Uh, the world champ. The multiple time world champ. Yeah. Right now, the uh, score is 0 0. Now, why did we get two points for that? Uh, we're up two advantage points. Yeah, two advantage points. One was for uh, so he that didn't, last arm lock attack. He didn't collect points for that sweep. Uh, no, he didn't. Nope. He just got an advantage. He wasn't able to hold uh, Zanji down on the bottom. So when Zanji returned to the top, he got just an advantage. If he was able to main that top, maintain that top, he would have scored his two points. Lots of pressure to pass. Now, top, now we got points. We got points for guard pass. Is that correct? Yeah, uh, we do. Three points for the guard pass there. Zanji not only passed the guard, maintained the control, pinned uh, D'Souza 
on his back. Now he's got the high side arm isolated. They seem to... Is that something he's going to look to attack immediately? He could attack that arm. I think Zanji's plays a little bit more with the basics uh, of jujitsu, a little bit more positional dominance and then finish from a uh, uh, stronger position. Uh, I don't expect him to attack that D'Souza's left arm. So he's a very high percentage player. Yeah. He's really a guy that's based on lots of control. Now, is he a mount attack yeah. player or is he a side I, control attack? I would, would bet that he's probably going to look to mount him. Shanji Ibera mounted on him. Fight uh, is uh, for all purposes over. Yeah. We have five minutes and 30 seconds remaining. The score is 3 to 0. Shanji with Alexander, two advantage points. Shanji's really in control here. This is has got to get out. He's got to push the action to get out. He's isolated the far arm now. He can walk around to the north south and attack that far arm if he wishes. He looks like he's going to go for the mount. He's clearing out the near arm. Monitoring the legs. Just gotta watch that upside down triangle. Yeah, D'Souza's not having any of it right now. D'Souza's gotta get that left elbow back underneath Zanji's hips. Now, is that arm in danger of Kimura? Absolutely. And Zanji looks like he's looking for that right now. He's he looks like he control. heard me. Yeah, he did. He's gonna. He's a bad and it looks like he might be. What are we looking at here? He's looking Red cutter? To, yeah, looking to do a step over the head. He's got a he's got a lapel underneath uh, D'Souza's neck. He steps over the head. Uh, he can he can submit D'Souza with a choke. Steps that right leg right over. Keeps his shoulders driving into the stomach. Do you have much success with that choke? Uh, I personally do not, but it's a great choke to set up uh, arm locks on that same side when the guy starts to defend. Now for this mount, is he looking to walk the knees to the opposite side? Uh, to turn the hips, or uh, yeah, I'd like to see him move the knees away from his from Zanji's hips, uh, weakening the legs of the Susan attack. And now he's going for a, a walk around straight arm walk. He's got lots of options here. He's got arm walks on both sides. Alexander's in a bad place. He's got to get out of here. Time clicking down. He's got to get out of this. Yeah, he's the emphasis is on him to move right now. He's down. He's pinned. I'm just, just going to keep moving around. Now we're, we're going to get as a, a penalty call. We're What's the penalty? A, we're going to get a stalling on Zanji and uh, awarded a two points for D'Souza uh, for passivity. Woo! Now what's your thought on that call? That's a big turnaround in events. I, I like to see that call personally because uh, I don't believe that Zanji's doing much to... to to advance any position. He wasn't attacking. D'Souza's arms are out of position. He should have been trying to mount, should have been mounting him. any offense. So you agree with the call? I agree with the call 100%. So now the score is tied up, and actually Alexander's ahead on advantage points. Uh, actually, uh, oh, it's 3 to 2. 3 to 2, yeah. My mistake. So uh, Shanji's still up 3 to 2, and uh, zero advantage points to uh, Alexander's 2. But that makes an interesting match because now we're one point difference takedown takedown puts uh D'Souza in the lead coming through with the knee through the middle Zanji with a nice half guard move gonna get it yeah a good recovery by D'Souza keeping a strong knee in the middle which is keeping him safe uh, he could leg weave pass right here, like the. I'm a big fan of that pass when that that shin gets across the hip like that. Now, am I correct in assuming that since they're brothers, uh, Shanji is equally as uh, well schooled in the solo pass with the other hook? I would say so. Yeah. So that's something potentially we're looking to see here. Yeah. Susan's doing the right thing by stepping over that leg. There, he stepped over that leg, but that left knee is not in good position. He needs to get that left knee to the floor or use the left arm and weave those legs. Strategy-wise, what are you looking to go do against Shanji here? If, if the points are as they are, what are you uh, looking to do as Alexander? I think Alexander's taking his time uh, because he knows he only needs one point to win this thing. Uh, guard pass will win. Um, I think he is looking to advance into a position where 
uh, Zanji's in a little bit of a, a little bit more danger. Um, looking to wear down Zanji, but uh, Zanji's not going to get worn down. He's a he's an athlete. He is Mr. Clean right here. <laughs> Somebody I was always afraid of as a kid. <laughs> being a little bit too passive. I think D'Souza needs to move. He's, oh, now nice half guard. Oh. Zanji's in a good half guard position. He's deep in on the legs. Uh, if he gets uh, D'Souza's far ankle with that right hand, that's what D'Souza needs to be careful of. And this is his brother's namesake now, is correct? Uh, yeah. I, I, I'd like to say as soon as she step over the head right now. Zanji doesn't really have a right-handed, a left-handed yeah. grip right there. Yeah, Zanji's comfortable here though. He's very comfortable in the half guard. Oh. There he goes. Nasty on the face there. Yeah, no, that's He's gonna the, attack that forearm. That's the right thing to do there. To step around. Now he needs to force the legs to the ceiling and control that back leg or attack that Kimura right there. right back around to the knee to the middle. Now what's the crowd booing at here? I I think they're booing at the action. I believe that they're... Nobody's actually trying to win this match? Yeah, I think they're... They'd like to see more movement from uh, both guys. So now Zon just on the move here. The Sousa's really putting all we the action. We got 20 seconds left. The is going to have to do something to win this. He is. I, I, I have to say he is the aggressor. I feel that he's the aggressor of the whole match. Uh, Zanji got his points. Um, and now it's just defending. And he's going to be the world champ again. He's going to be the world champion, yeah. A little bit of a lackluster final. I gotta tell you, I was pretty impressed with that far side arm lock that uh, the Sousa uh, pulled out, and I, it didn't come out of nowhere. It came out of the closet, walked through the bedroom, through the foyer, through the <laughs> living room, right into the kitchen, and attacked uh, Shanji. I mean, he said smoke signal saying that was coming, and he still landed it. So, whew, I was very impressed with the Sousa. I'm always in favor of somebody that tries to win instead of uh, somebody that tries to not lose. As a, as a fan and a spectator, I'd like to see a little bit more action. I agree. Strategically, he did everything he needed to do perfectly. He passed the guard. He got his points. He he won. But I I rather see the the guys really going for it, letting it all hang out. He, he's not breathing too heavy. Uh, at the end of the world's finals, I I think both guys should be pretty exhausted.